Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be removing uh, items using splice. Okay, so we've learned how to remove elements, oh, splice, sorry, to remove elements from the beginning and end arrays using shift and pop. But what if we want to remove an element from somewhere in the middle or remove more than one element at once? Well, that's where splice comes in. Splice allows us to do that. Remove any number of consecutive elements from anywhere in the array. Splice can take up to three parameters, but for now we'll focus on the first two. The first two parameters of splice are integers, which represent the indexes or positions of the array that splice is being called upon. And remember, arrays are zero index, so to ind indicate the element, the first element of an array, we would use zero. Splice's first parameter represents the index on the array from which the beginning from which to begin removing elements, while the second parameter indicates the number of elements to delete. For example, so we've got an array that set that is set with a three with one, two, three, four, five strings in it. Today was not so great. What we want to do is splice out, uh, starting at position two, zero, one, two, and then we're going to splice out the next two elements. So not so is going to be removed, and so today was great is the array that is left at the bottom. Splice not only modifies the array it's being called on, but it also returns a new array containing the values of the removed elements. So here, if we wanted to save it, 0, 1, 2, 3, and we want to just remove the words really happy, we can save that. As we splice it off, we can make the array equal to the result of that splice. So now the new array is equal to really happy. We've initialized an array using splice to remove elements from the array so that it only contains the elements that sum to the value of 10. Okay, so we want to change this array so that it only has elements that sum to 10. So 2, 4, okay, this was sums to 11, so we can't start at the beginning. Um, 2, uh, 5, uh, well, no, we couldn't do that either. It's 4 and 2 is 6. Um, oh, what we could do is just remove these guys, and then we'd be left with 1, 2, 5, and 2. 5 and 2 is 4, 9. Yeah, that would do it. So if we splice at position 1 and the next four elements, that should do it. So array.splice at position 1 with the next four elements. And our array becomes, it was this whole list of numbers, but now it's this no numbers. And 2, 5, 2, uh, 2, 7, 9, 10. And this sums to 10. And so that should do it. So once again, this is the position to start at, and then this is the number of elements that we want to remove. Run the test, nice pass. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next lesson.